Welcome back to badmintonireland.tv and the Carlton Irish Future Series 2013 tournament at Baldoyle Badminton Centre. I'm Thomas Vaughan, your presenter, and with me again is Richard Vaughan, CEO of Badminton Ireland. Hello, Richard. Hello. Look forward to another, another Irish uh, player in the quarter-final, which is quite nice. Not used to saying that too much. Um, so it's, it's quite good to have a kind of consecutive Irish young player in the quarter-finals. And we have uh, Rachel Dara here playing the number four seed, uh, Delphine Sack. So uh, Rachel's had a very good tournament so far. Yeah, um, I think she had a few good wins. I think the Austrian seed in the, in the first round. Um, again, lots of lots of the girls are all around the same level, so um, it's really good for the. We have two wins against uh, uh, Zizig from Austria and and Koldova from the Czech Republic. So. Um, plays with quite a lot of experience and um, I think it's great for Rachel because she's only under 17 so uh, lots of uh, Irish Future Series and Opens to come. Over, and uh, Delphine has a, had a particularly strong match there, a tough match there again yesterday as well, she had a 53 minute game so mm. she's had a plenty of court time here as yeah. well to... Uh, yeah, Delphine's one of the top European junior players coming through. Um, Obviously seeded four in the tournament, so a lot of success in the, in the junior circuits and just transitioning into senior badminton. So um, a lot of experience. Trains full time in in Paris in Insep, so would have been training there for the last four years full time. So real differences in terms of uh, kind of background and experience. So it'll be really interesting. Uh, big test for, for Rachel to see if she can compete in that level. Great, to, yeah, so this would be a great give herself a barometer of what, where she is in her game as she's developing. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And um, you see, it's a good start, uh, point for point. And again, a bit like Josh's game is important that Rachel really focuses on her own game, making the rallies as long as possible, and really cutting out all the easy points in the first five shots. If she does that, then she'll, uh, she'll do well. See the difference in the speed. Um, Lansak just, just a little bit faster all around the court and pushing the pace. Rachel's struggling a little bit with the pace, but doing really well to have a 20, 20, 30 shot rally. So um, just trying to gain a composure between the points and make sure she does that repeatedly. And then you know you never know. Like Lansak might make a few mistakes and um, she'll get back into the into a good position like Josh did in the first set. She's a really good fighter though Rachel, I've seen her the last kind of year in a lot of tournaments, she's very good at, she battles hard and... Yeah, no, that's exactly what's needed, because Lance would be, you know, looking for an easier game, she won't be maybe mentally prepared for a really hard game, so you see in the last one she just put an easy shot in the net, so... Those long rallies, ooh, on a very last day. <laughs> wow. And it was an excellent shot by Rachel as well, the yeah. first, you know, yeah. the first tumble and then just a... Yeah, perfect, come played by Rachel and just a good shot by the... And it's more or less point for point here, 7 6 to Lensac. Again, good flipper, Rachel, good net, good net spin, going the lift. So, good combinations between the, the, the attacking shot and then just, again, it's that easy, easy lift out. Um, so just just well, concentration, make sure she does, that doesn't happen again. We're getting good start, only 8 6. And 
another easy easy lift out under no real pressure. You can see Lensac's real competitive moving around pretty fast, very strong individual. Despite their uh, smaller stature. Rich tried to catch her out there with a change of angle, but I think uh, Delphine threw yeah, back the other way then again just to... Yeah, I think a few mistakes just slipping in with Rachel where... So that's four points in a row here for Delphine. And let's make that five. So. Yeah, so yeah, really good to six sixes. And then uh, just a little bit overall by the shouting of the French goal rather than abandoned. Um, Delphine, no real, not great technique, no great shots, just very competitive and fit and strong and uh, I think Rachel, Rachel just needs to kind of relax into it and play her own game and, and not really be caught up in the, in the little bit of shouting that goes on. Over. Nine, 12. Um, back here again, the second half of this uh, first game here in the Carriage and Air Future Series Open in Ballantyne Badminton Centre. It's 12 9 to Delphine Lassac against Rachel Tara. Again, good Service few points over. by Rachel, and then 13. just concentration again on that one. No real pressure on the on the on the block. It's a perfect shot, really. Yeah, the French girl playing. Uh, drive and, and then Rachel just putting an easy shot in the net. Again, it's just concentration. The same there, just a straight block by Lansac and Rachel just wrong footed, really. Again, tactically playing quite well, just uh, applications, shall we say. I think again, it just shows how Kind of close to the level is. You can see by Lance, like one of the best kind of up and coming players and juniors. And I think it's good for the young Irish players to see that and to be playing against them because um, yeah, watching it, you couldn't really tell much of a difference between them. Obviously, Rachel's got a few years to, to improve as well. She's only in the 17, so uh, I think it's a great experience. But it's, what you're saying is it, the consistency is is what makes the difference. Yeah, really. just training, hard work and consistency, like on a daily basis. And I think sometimes when players see the names on a sheet at the tournament, they think that player must be amazing. And then when they actually see them, and they actually have quite bad technique and they're quite small and they don't actually do much. Then they kind of realize that well, maybe they're not as great as, as they think they are. You know, sometimes you can put players up on a pedestal a bit too much. But at the same time, you know, Lance Sacco being in SAP in Paris for the last four years, she was training four hours a day, every day, weekends. So she, she deserves that, uh, you know, that success. So um, sometimes people think is that the, the answer is a little bit easier than it is, you know. At the end of the day, a lot of the time, it's just a lot of hard work. So, uh, and it's great that the Irish players get a chance to see and play against 
those players that, are, that have had success. Yeah, it's not because they're some particularly big, massive smash. No, or no. It's just, it's oh, just all, they have, all they have an amazing coach. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's not because they're sponsored by a different brand of company. It's just because they train hard for a very long time. Again, very good shot with Rachel there, good clear, and then a very good cross drop. Really good angle. But you can just see Lansac just physically just has another gear, you know, if and when the game gets harder. Um, Went for the big jump smash there, yeah, she did the spectacular yeah. there. She wants to, to sew the game up. Good for camera, <laughs> and then, yeah. boom, but not actually much follow through on her leg movement actually, no, no. was it very square, no. she was. It's important that, you know, Rachel's ready for those and just makes the game as hard as possible. Again, really good play. First half of the game, Rachel was just getting caught flat-footed in the front of the easy shots. That's what she can't do, you know. They're, just, they're not great shots, there's no disguise, there's no power. So she can't afford to give easy points away in that situation. Yeah, Lansak, you just, she's just happier at that pace. You know, just, just pretty easy, you know, a bit flatter and, and faster. And Rachel's a little bit uncomfortable at that, that pace. Especially ladies singles is definitely a game of at the higher level a game of attrition. Um, men's singles is a bit more power and, and a lot more winning shots. But for ladies singles, if Rachel wants to break through and be winning these games, she really needs to be able to have 30 shot rallies every point. Because the girls don't have big smashes, they don't tend to have as much quick points, so you need the fitness. And as you said, the ladies they're practicing against the men, so they're well used to any big smash that's thrown at them, really. You know, yeah, no, again, the, the girls tend not to have the as, as nowhere near as big a smash as some of the guys, so it is about consistency, um, being mentally tough and working hard. And you can see Lansac has all of that. Um, there's nothing technically amazing, uh, physically amazing, but you can just see from that rally there, it's just straight line smash, good accuracy, fast back, um, and in position for the next shot repeatedly. So, um you can see where the reward yeah, the, the drills there. You can see where yeah, she's done that drill yeah, a thousand yeah, times, yeah. two thousand times. And you can see, you can see Rachel's capable of doing it, yeah. but it kind of she does it for three or four, and then it breaks down. And then when it breaks down, she loses four or five points. So first game there to uh, Delphine Lassac, twenty-one yeah. fourteen. I think Delphine is well supporting the breast cancer awareness week with a nice pink shirt. Very nice. Oh, we've got Andy Stewart now coaching with with Dan McGee again, donning the pink. Very nice. Welcome back to the Carlton Irish Future Series 2013 here in Bampton uh, Centre. Uh, Ladies singles game here between Delphine and Sack and Rachel and Dara. Uh, first game went to Delphine. So interesting to see how Rachel will can up her game against mm -hmm. Delphine and hopefully uh, turn this game around. Yeah, get great. Uh, Rachel's only 16, 17, so it's great experience for her to. Um, they can get some games at this level. Same yesterday with the, the game she won. So um, there's nothing to lose, and uh, it's you know, really just great training. Um, if she wins, it's a bonus. Yeah, Rachel's is part of the Bamden Island um, talent uh, group. Uh, kind of an elite six to eight players with a kind of a future focus on the Olympics. 
So she's as part of that group, you know, she gets regular top level training. And uh, these tournaments are really key for her to transition from junior badminton into and the senior badminton. And it's, it's, it's as simple as seeing one, that the better players aren't that good. And two, realizing that she just has to work really hard because that's the difference. Um, Four, love. And what age do you tend to make that transition from the junior? Yeah, I think uh, girls always can make the transition a little bit younger. So really 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, a one month thing. It's more of a, a five year progression. And it's obviously a lot easier to start that progression when you're 16 or 15 than um, trying to make the progression when you're 19, 20. So when I was playing, I played uh, uh, Walsh Open, which is a challenger grade. Got the semi final when I was 15. Wow. So again, you know, I was, couldn't, couldn't have won for maybe, but I had a few good wins against Russian players. I mean, a bit like Rachel yesterday. Um, you need a bit of luck, you know, like, but it's really just trying to make that progression for the players as young as possible. Because it does take time, it's not a it's not a one month. And as you said, you, you play against these players, you know the type of shots that they're that that they're spitting. The, the information they get from these to bring with them for their next training sessions yeah, for the next six yeah, months. Yeah. So um, I was yeah, Andy and uh, Dan are coaching Rachel today, so they'll give her a report after the match, and she'll be able to work on that on a daily basis to the next tournament. And so, she'll be able to watch these videos on TV and have a look back at her matches and see where yeah. things have worked well and yeah, where exactly. So I think you said the, the badmintonisland.tv is available for young players to, to watch their own games and, and future opponents and, and, to, and to learn. So uh, I know the coaches kind of regularly set them some some homework, if you like, to watch these games. So uh, And good for us club players to go and watch and see where... What, yeah, good where for everybody to like learn off uh, the players. So when we get to the finals and the top players are playing, it's lots of good things to, to watch. Over. Also, we had the Irish Open in Rachel, December, the 100th Rachel. Irish Open in December. So um, that'll be a high, it's a challenger event, so we'll have some of Europe's best players. So um, again, great for people to come and watch, but also all, uh, all streamed live on BamptonIsland.tv. Fantastic experience last year. As, yep. as my, we were working on the streaming team here last year, and we had absolutely a fantastic week, and uh, looking really forward to that now in December. And yep. we had Scott Evans winning last year, which was a... Uh, fantastic occasion and uh, very memorable for him and, yep. and looking forward to that one in, in December for sure. Yeah, again, and ch real chances to win three you know, men's singles with Scott, ladies singles with Chloe and the mixed with Sam and, Sam and Chloe, so some real chances for Ireland to win as well, so this is great. I see Rachel again just working away quite well, moving the shuttle around, it's just that, just the mistake. Um, that 30 shot rally is yeah, you say. and that's the you know that's all part of that transition <clears throat> obviously the fitter you are the easier it is to be relaxed and to have those 30 30 shot rallies where if you're not as fit then you're kind of pressured and then you just tend to go for things that aren't there you see the difference in, in Josh's game you can see he was remarkably faster and more sharp in the first second bit of the third and a lot of that will be around Kind of the fitness and confidence that goes with that. 30 shot rally, I need about two minute break after. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but these, these, player, these players, are, as I say, are doing are, what these players do in a week, I do probably in a. Well, if you ever saw me play two. towards the end when I was had a few injuries, I think I was very good at taking a two minute, two minute break between every rally because uh, every rally was very long. A little walkabout around the court, yeah? Mm, yeah, definitely. You see that with some of the older players, they have the experience, maybe they lose the fitness, but they have the, the racket skills, the, the breaks become increasingly long. You see uh, younger players, they just go straight from point to point, um, not really aware of that, uh, the importance of that really. See Lansak is struggling a little bit with a, a leg there, um, two shots, I, kinda, I think it was the left leg, when she, again, you just see Rachel's not aware of that. And uh, again, the coaches should be really making her aware of making sure she works that kind of backhand side. Because uh, Lansax pulled up twice. So, um... Ankle, does it? Or it no, it's a, a quarter thing. It's, it's probably just tightness. It, it might not be anything, but again... Yeah, I could see her there, yeah. Just a little... Just yeah. Trying to shake it up. Yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, you just see Rachel's, again, is experience. She's not aware of it. Where, um, you know, you have to be aware of every little thing on the court. And the last thing you want to do is make mistakes. You know, you want to keep the girl on court as long as possible, make her work hard. Mm. 
And you're going to see a Lance again where she hit the shot and started work, walking. Um, something's not quite right with her. After this shot, they cross and she just stops. Yes. If, if and, Rachel had reached the yeah, ball, she, she wasn't going to get in. She's yeah. uh, talking to the coach who's now complaining about something. But again, the French girl has the experience not to point at something. So she's <laughs> just like trying not to show she's got an injury. But you can see like clearly like she has something. It's probably something she had beforehand and she's gone into the game with some just slight strain or muscle. But it's just interesting to see the, the, the you know, there's not much of an age difference, but you can see the French girl has a lot more experience with kind of the court, the courtmanship, if you like. Second game here, 11 6 up to Delphine Lassac. And next two or three points, absolutely vital in this game. And just not the start that Rachel wanted. <laughs> okay, a good, a good opening, few shots, but then it's just the ease of the mistake, you know, with no pressure. And um, and you can see, you know, Lansac is very steady. Um, a young girl and quite a thick girl. I think she has another gear there. Um, I guess as a coach as well, you just wish all the players could maximise themselves in the, in the same way. Um, obviously has limitations, but um, really has kind of maximised their potential. So it's, it's great to work with players like that yeah, when you have a group of players. Six points in a row now for Delphine. Yeah, I think Rachel again, just a little bit younger, needs to give a head up. Again, cross court, half court, lift, not the best shot when you're struggling. She needs to play, when you're, whenever you're struggling, best to play straight, because then you're in a better position for the, the, the yeah. counter attack, the next shot. If, you, if you're lifting cross when you're struggling, you're opening the court up and- You're having to move as yeah, well. And, and you, you know, you're going to back against your weight if they play a cross, so. So it's already tactical. And you see that again, the French girl just, I'm very aware of her shots and very limited with what she does, but it's just very consistent and, and strong. And fast there, good, yeah. good. Yeah. And good net play. Yeah. Now, Rachel, you know, a lot of good shots, good net play there, and some really good shots, but sometimes a little bit naive with the shots and the speed. Ooh, and, then a chance. and then a chance there, and, and you know, unlucky. And it's more the, again, it's just trying to keep her head up because she looks a little bit dejected after that one and um, that, that kind of has a positive response to the French player in the next five points and again you, you don't see the French player with that like I said earlier she had a little bit of a strain in her leg and it doesn't really show it at all and it's important that Rachel if she wins or loses the point that she can't really show that emotion you know and again that was <laughs> slightly well, out yeah. <laughs> and that's how oh it's in that's good Delvin, I don't think too happy with the yeah. no Thankfully, just off camera. I think it's good that we don't understand the French. Pardon me for saying. Niha. Again, yeah, good pickup. And that's what Rachel needs to do more. A, few, a lot of the time, she's kind of there or thereabouts, and kind of just doesn't get the shuttle over the net. With that one, she did. And it, you know, I think it, I think it was in. And it was a good pickup. Said for ladies singles, there is attrition, so it's really important to be able to get those difficult shots just back and in play. I think Delphine wasn't happy with that call either. So 